www.tutorialsforps.com. Today I'm going to take these three pictures and integrate them into one, this one of the girl. And it's going to be a lot of review here on the sky part, because if you watch our other tutorial on tutorialsforps.com, there's one of changing the sky, which is exactly what we're doing right here, which is just using the wand tool. So just take out the whole sky. This one's a little trickier because of her flowy long hair and it's hard to get all of that out so you're just gonna have to tweak around with that and if you don't if you're having troubles with that just check us out on our website and just watch that other tutorial and it'll give you a lot more detail on that now we're pretty much done with getting everything gone out of here I use the erase tool to erase little pixels that I couldn't get then go to our sky. Here's our dark looking sky. We're gonna get a, a fan a fantasy looking dark look to this image that was a very bright, happy looking image. So just go up into edit and copy and then edit and paste into this and it'll open up a new layer as you can see. Drop that layer behind the girl because you need it behind her. So then here it is, but there on the very bottom you can see that it's not there. So go to edit and then go free transform and this you can just grab the edge and swing it bigger so just make it till it fills the whole entire area that needs to be filled and then move it to the designated area and then hit apply to the transform now the sky is there so go up to the layer of the girl and say duplicate layer we're gonna make her a little darker to match that sky and then right here it's from the normal go down and drop down to overlay now there's two of these so now go down here and hit the hue and saturation of the top layer of the girl now there's two layers so on the top one do this one and then just mess around with this until it's looking like the image in the background we want it to the sky so my picture looks really dark so we're gonna hit the saturation way down brightness a little bit down as you can see now it's looking a little bit more like the sky back there but I want the girl to glow like a goddess or something so I'm gonna get the paintbrush tool and I'm gonna get a pretty big size paintbrush so I can paint around her with it make the transparency down to halfway mark area and then you have to make sure you're selected on see right now it's not doing anything when I write on it it needs to be layer on the layer zero a copy of her and if you're on that and then you erase well it's not erasing exactly it's it's just re taking away and revealing what used to be there so I'm just drawing white on an overlay thus making it brighter so we're just gonna go around her on her face and see how it makes around her a lot brighter and then all the way around her now it looks like she's glowing in this picture and then we want to make I want to make the background all the grass and everything darker so make it black and then go down like that look at that and it just makes this dark look and on the sky and everything and remember always to be on the layer, the copied layer of the overlay one. And then, as you see, she looks like she's glowing now through this dark setting. And that made the sky complement the grass area a lot better. So now we're going to add a tattoo. So go to select all and then copy the tattoo. And then go into here and then edit paste and just say okay and with this <clears throat> you need to make sure it fits onto her arm so go back to the edit and free transform and then just measure it up onto wherever you're gonna put it I'm gonna put it right here on her arm so I'm just gonna make sure it sits and fits in her arm right there just move it up that's too big so Go to free transform again. Make 
it a little bit smaller, but if you just do this, it doesn't look real at all. So we're gonna have to mess with this layer, because when I put it in there and copied it, it made a new layer. It's called layer two for me. And then once it's on there, say apply. So now it's on her arm and it looks pretty good, but you can tell it's not a real tattoo or anything. So there it is. Now we need to make it look like it's part of her skin. So click on this and then drop it down. This is going to make it transparency, so drop it down halfway or so and we'll see what this looks like. There, now it looks a little more like it's in her skin. And then go up to the normal and do overlay. And now you can see that it's now having the reflections and stuff. And then go back up to the transparency and change that again. Probably bump it up a lot more. And as you can see, overlay made it look like it's part of her because it's going to show in her skin like where it's brighter, where the sun's hitting her shoulder on the top there. Now it's looking a lot more. And then you can go to the hue and saturation and mess around with that on the image and just make it look good. And this is the end result right there. Kind of gives it like that 300 look with the dark sky and the grass is all dark and but there's the fantasy look of her being bright and overshine so I'm just gonna save my image and here's the before and after. Thank you for checking us out at tutorials for ps.com.